folks, this is Mel Fabregas with Veritas Radio. This is actually a special report. I just heard of an interview with uh, somebody I just met on the phone. Her name is Patty Bizard. And right off the bat, I'd like to introduce you to Patty so she can give us a, a bit of her background, her credentials. Uh, some of the information you'll hear tonight is, is, is probably going to have an impact on you. I want you to use a lot of discernment, but that is why I want to make sure that we understand what Patty's credentials are. First of all, hello and welcome, Patty. Thank you. Uh, my credentials, seven years in the Army, uh, I dealt with uh, missile systems, communication, satellite uplinks, that sort of thing, uh, as well as nuclear response for you know, nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare. Uh, after that, I did you know, a lot of contract work for you know, places like Microsoft. I had my own computer store. I did contract work at NASA. And from there, I moved on to Bell South. I did the rollout. That was BFC-001 for the rollout of in-home networks. From there, came north, went to work for Lockheed Martin, built anti-missile defense systems and things like that. And then from there, moved to Polaris. And I built the robots and whatnot that like they're using at Fukushima right now. That gives you some idea. <laughs> Speaking of Fukushima, I hear this, this situation is getting worse by the day. Well, I have released the full thing. The, the inspector that worked for TEPCO there was my inside source there, and I have all the goods on him. I've released that all over the place, and most news places won't run it. Because, yeah, I mean, less than two days after the event started, all three cores were in the ground. The hydrogen that blew the, the tops off was when the cores hit water. That's where the hydrogen came from. It was this a, a natural occurrence, what happened in Fukushima? No. One was in trouble, you know, from the quake onwards. I, I've got pictures of it on fire before the wave even got to them. But I'm talking about the earthquake, the tsunami. Was that a natural occurrence? Or yes, was it was. The, the quake, it was a natural, well... If you want to call it natural, our second sun, anytime it lines up, we have mega quakes. It's the same thing that caused the problem in Chile. It's caused four so far, and we've got another one coming this month, the uh, 17th or sometime between 17th and 26th. It's going to hit Seattle. And we're probably going to lose most of California because it's going to be a plus 15. Because it's only going to be 0.32 AU away from us. You're speaking of a major earthquake. Major quake. They're only going to get worse from this point out. And we've already we've got incoming asteroids from it because it, it, it pushed a bunch of junk in. That's what's going down right now. We've lost the grid in three major places yesterday. We've got lightning bolts coming down that give you radiation burns. That uh, meteor or meteorite that were meteor because it, it, it exploded in the air. The, the one I'm, it, it, I'm it, talking it, about right now. Meteorites hitting us right now. But the one that uh, a few months ago, was that um, from this event? No. Um, the, the main rock that it came off of, our second sun dragged it in. Mm -hmm. But they were testing a laser weapon in space, and they carved a piece off a DA, uh, two, uh, what was it, 214? DA-14. DA-214, yes. Yeah, 214. Um, we told them it ain't going to work. They did it anyway. And uh, the piece that broke off exploded over Russia. And Russia had their new bombs, bombers, in our skies. And they got to, like, you know, less than 15 seconds before zero. Because they had both... Our side mirrors had the keys in and turned and activated and they were waiting to push the button. Why? They almost didn't back down. Because Russia knows we did it. They watched. We tested a weapon, a, a orbital beam weapon, broke the piece off of it. That's why they did not show the ISS flyby, because it's obvious. They went and put the original picture of it out that we sent the, the, the satellite out to look at. So they couldn't show the flyby. It shows the big chunk missing. A chunk missing of DA-214? Yes. So you're saying that we did that on purpose? We test, we were testing a weapon that was supposed to, you know, they wanted it to, to destroy it entirely, and it didn't work. And, we and it, only, it, it only took a, a very small fraction? And yeah, it took, well, almost a 
third off of it. The big knob that stuck off the side. It rubbed it right off. That's what came in. And this technology has existed for how long, do you think? Oh, God. More than 12 years. But it doesn't work. It does not work. It does not work because it does not... It, it's not... Yeah, it's not going to destroy it. It's not even going to fracture it into a bunch of little ones. It just ended up carving a big piece off. So anything bigger, it's, it's just going to be totally ineffective. You mentioned the second sun. Is this the, the, uh, the, the what Zachariah Sitchin used to call in the bureau? Yeah. Some people call him the bureau. Um, the government folks right now, they're using the, the name Wormwood because that's the one out of the Bible. Bible, correct. So call, call it what you will. <laughs> I mean, they do that deliberately to confuse the issue. I mean, Tucson. And the Vatican has their, their largest observatory here, and I've been told that that is exactly why that observatory is here, to monitor one wood. Planet X, Nemesis. There's that, there's that, and out front of the Vatican, they've got a, co uh, a copy of the um, Anunnaki's uh, little built planetoid. That's been here for almost four years now, in system. They're actually mining the gold off of Phobos around Mars, like they did here, way, way back. Used us as slaves to mine the gold from Earth. I have used some orbital stuff, and and some of the some of our satellites and whatnot out there, and some of the stuff on Mars. I have access to, and that's how I did all the work, like the whole spreadsheet on Earth, and all the damage that Nuke has done. Um. I don't hit this from the spiritual point. Um, I'm half Micmac Indian, so my belief system is, you know, sort of off at a tangent. <laughs> so the Vester, and I know they've tried to block out that we've got alien crafts coming. Uh, but, you know, looking at them edge on, even with a telescope, I can't, I can't get no details out of it. Well, tell, me about, tell me about the second sun. Tell me about what is the distance between us and the second sun by now. Well, I couldn't tell you right now, but it's next pass, which is going to be on the 17th. It's going to be 0.32. It's going to be directly between us and the sun, which is going to, you know, be a major gravity issue. That's what I'm telling everybody they need to prep. And you're saying that there are seven planets orbiting this second sun? Yes. One of them four times the size of Jupiter? Yep, and they call that one Blue Bonnet. And way back in history, they called it the Blue Kachina. Mm-hmm. The Hopi. Yep. And I took pictures of that, too. Now explain to me how you were able to, to make this finding. A remote control borrowed an observatory and took my own pictures. And this is when? Last week. Last week. 11, 11 p.m. at night, so I mean, they're not the best shots. I don't get the best view, because I'm, I have to wait till everybody gets done using it. But yeah, I got good, I got pretty good pictures. Are you still active as a contractor for the government? No, no. As a matter of fact, they've taken away my security clearance. Like, if you check on my security clearance, it says it's under investigation, and they're trying to disappear me. They've you know, wiped out my, my records. For the military, I can't even get them now, uh, a copy of them. They wiped me off the computer. I can't collect unemployment. I have no medical insurance. I cannot get math. I, I can't get anything. I don't even get VA disability anymore. Your story sounds like Clark McClellan's. I was referring to the story before we started. They were very mad at me, but I mean, I released the whole fact of the plutonium at, at Fukushima and all that. You know, in April of 2011, the fires in the shared pool, all that, that's all me. TEPCO's been jumping through hoops to try and cover up the stuff I'm releasing. What is the result for the entire planet of the Fukushima incident? 12 plus tons of plutonium in the air, it supercharged it. Our Bartol meters that, you know, all over the Earth, which are meant to, you know, read the, the neutrons from the sun, are swamped. There were, you know, four to, to 9,000 readings when the one in orbit in our satellite is only getting max, like, you know, a couple hundred. 
So that's the plutonium, because it's, it's kicking off neutrons like crazy. It's in our air. That's enough to kill us anyway. More than enough to kill everybody 12 times over, because the core of three that went into the Earth, that had 212 kilos of plutonium. And I'm not talking Mox. It had Mox in there, too, but that doesn't, I mean, it's minuscule compared to the breeder rods. There was 40 breeder rods in the pool of number four that burned while in the water because they didn't have enough water at one point. They overheated, and then they couldn't put um, uh, stuff in the water to keep them calm because of the filter system. The, uh, they had uh, one of the, uh, uh, the used fuel rods <laughs> on top of one of the buildings on the, on the on ceiling. The, on, on top of all four of them. All six of them, actually, they're all up top. In pool four, I had 40 plutonium breeder rods in it from us. Obama was pissed when he found out where they were because they reported them missing at the end of physical year 2010. Japan did. And it turns out they're in the pool with number four in Fukushima. And they burned up, as well as the ones that were in the shared, the um, cast pool. They had just transferred five casts more breeders over from number three that morning that's what did the damage to most of building four two of the casts were still in the building on on floor two and on floor one on floor two one on floor three once the batteries ran out because they're wet casts what you know wet transfer once the batteries ran out on the coolers they blew up that's what did the damage to four let me ask you i know somebody in japan who contacted me uh, during the time, this is March 2011, I believe, and she had a friend in a Navy base there in Japan, and she yep. told me that that day the vessels were leaving towards the north at a very high speed, and she has never seen that happen before. And 24 or 40 hours later, Fukushima happened. What do you make of that? They were hitting them with heart, but that ain't what caused it. As a matter of fact, they were blackmailing them from, you know, for money, and, and Japan did pay off. But the quake, it's the same as, as what happened to Chile. It, it was during an alignment. So maybe they were making sure it went off, but the, all the little quakes that led up to it were, we caused them, the U.S. government caused them with heart. But the big ones, that was an alignment issue. As soon as it went into alignment, we had quite just like in Chile. Another piece of information, this may be unrelated, Patty, but about a week or two ago, I received information from people in North Carolina who were stating that the weather service was under-reporting the inches of rain that were falling. These two people had special equipment that could determine how many inches of rain was falling. And what the media and the weather service was reporting was way under. As a matter of fact, their systems were flooding. And I heard this from Canada. I've heard this from a few other places. Why is the weather service under-reporting the weather right now? Part of what they're doing, well, the chemtrails are, are, are most purpose. One... They, they have you know, population reduction. Number two, they're adding ingredients like strontium to it and using heart to heat it to rise and lower it so you can get directional and point it where you want it and dump a lot of their ads that are coming from Fuku. The third reason is they're doing it any place where you can see that second sun. When it's beside our original sun, it gets lit up. It looks like a second sun, so now they're trying to use that to hide it. They don't care really what happens to the ground under it. They really don't. Chemtrails, barium, yep. strontium, aluminum. You're saying multi-purpose. Yep. And 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 uh, you know chemical agents are going in them too. And, you know people are taking samples, caught them in jars, and it's you know like a biochemical goo. Yes. How is it that not one single pilot has ever come forward? Are these planes being remote they controlled? They they no. They're, they're, they're actually military pilots and they fed them a line of garbage and they think they're saving the world. They, they